How's it going beekeepers? Welcome to another edition of Enjoy Beekeeping. And man, today is absolutely gorgeous. It's the most perfect day you could ask for. It's blue skies, about 70 degrees, sun shining. This is like Ferris Bueller's day off. How could anyone expect me to do anything but beekeeping on a day like this? Hey, swarms totally rock. And I'm gonna show you why today. Swarms are like the varsity team taking the field. They're experienced, especially the early ones that cast are overwintered queens and they know how to get the job done. This is a swarm that I captured in my plum tree 12 days ago and I'm going to open them up today and transfer them into a 14 frame Layens hive. This is the one that you can see on Dr. Leo's website. It's the standard 14 frame thick walled hive and you're going to see how much they've been able to accomplish in just 12 days and this is without feeding them any sugar syrup of any sort whatsoever. All we're going to do is just we're going to pull the frames. Now the frames they started with were just empty frames like this with just a little bit of starter strip. Some of them were plastic, some of them had some wax, but they built everything that you're going to see in 12 days just based on the resources they've been able to bring in. So let's open them up. The reason why I'm going to do this today is it's moving day for the bees. They don't know it yet, so it's a little surprise for them, but we're going to put them into the full hive, 14 frame hive, so they got enough room to work. I just so happened to take a peek under the hood yesterday and I saw they had built out quite a bit of the frames that are in here. There's a total of seven frames in here and they've built out on most of those frames already. So you're gonna see why it's important to give them more room when they're building up as quickly as they are now. So let's get in there. I treated myself to a new smoker too. I hope this one holds up. It's from the Foxhound Bee Company. I don't even know if they'll need smoke today, but I always keep it handy just in case. So we're going to do the transfer next. Now what I'll do, and this is what you should do too, every time you open a hive, just keep your uh, smartphone handy. I always like to take a few pictures right when I open it up. Now the first thing I see when I open it up is that nice white wax along the tops of the frames. And you can tell that they've been busy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them out one at a time. So let me just make sure I got enough room in my new hive that they're moving into. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven frames, I need to take out one more in order to make room. And so I like to keep them all in the same order. When you take out a frame, try not to turn it around. Just take it out, put it in the same way that you took it out of the swarm trap. So this was, again, a swarm that I caught in the tree. I shook them down into the uh, swarm trap and they've been in here 12 days. So let's see how far they've gone in just 12 days. I'm gonna give them a light smoke across the top just so I can get my fingers on the frames. That's probably good, right there. That's always nice when you get the queen on the first pull. Let's see if I see her. There she is. Yeah, she keeps switching sides. I don't know, she's not committed. She's walking right along the edge of the comb on the bottom. Here she comes up the top a little. Let's see if I can get a picture of her. Okay, picture time's over. In you go. Mama goes back in first, and then we just take out each frame one at a time, but check out how much they've built up. As you can see, they're about two thirds of the way down this frame already. What a gorgeous honey band you got across the top. I can come in a little closer for you. 
Isn't that something? They've got a nice honey band across the top. It's all fresh, clean wax, nice and straight going down that frame. And again, this is without feeding, so pretty impressive. So if it's a honey flow like it is now, the bees can build wax. They won't build wax unless there's plenty of resources available. I know a lot of beekeepers will feed them almost year round. That's not necessary. If you let your bees dial into the environment, they'll build when they need to build based on what's happening in the environment. So again, another beautiful frame and they're already starting to get below the uh, bamboo skewer. So we'll just move them in nice and easy. And they're humming, they're humming a little bit. I think they're excited about their new house. Oh, this one's heavy even. They got a lot of honey packed on it. Boy, look at that. Let me show you this one. It's got some weight to it. Look how nice that is. They've passed the bamboo skewers like nothing. They just blew right by them. I do got some fishing line on this one. I don't use that anymore. It seems like it's not necessary, but they hold up really well. And boy, this is heavy. I'd say this is about a, a seven pound frame. Maybe I'm over exaggerating, but it feels like it's got an easy five to seven pounds on it. Okay, let's just keep it going. We want to we wanna get them in quick now. Look at this. Look at this, guys. They made it all the way to the bottom. They're all the way down to the bottom. I'll just, I got to show you this. This is just so unbelievable. All the way down. Top to bottom with just a starter strip. Looks straight as an arrow. Look at that. Beautiful. In you go. All right, two left. Oh man, this one's heavy. And another one, all the way down, solid brood with a nice, gorgeous honey arch across the top. Check that out. Brood almost uh, about two inches, three inches from the top. Beautiful honey arch across the top. Just packed out with brood. And it's uh, looking like it's a, eh, maybe about another five to seven days away from hatch and it takes 21 days altogether. So we're getting close. We still got just a little more time. And boy, when that hatches out, uh, we're gonna have a lot of workers looking for employment. And they're gonna wanna start building more comb on these uh, additional frames that we got. I'm just gonna give myself a little more room One more. Look at that. Almost to the bottom. Seven frames almost completely built out. Let's get them tucked in.
All right, so the forage bees, obviously they're returning here. This is what they're used to. So what we wanna do next, just close everything up and then slide this in position of the swarm trap. And you'll see how quickly they'll take to it. Won't take them long at all. Put all my cover boards into place. And so now they've got a total of 14 frames, double the amount of space that they have currently. I expect that they're gonna fill that out pretty quick too. And we'll, we'll monitor that. Uh. They've still got a solid month and a half of really good weather as far as honey flow goes. We've got a solid, oh, let's see, it's, it's April. Today's the 18th. Today is April 18th. So they've got some time. So the bees that are returning, obviously we gotta, we gotta shake them out. In fact, you know what I'll do? I should have shook them right here. We'll dump them in. I could dump them in front of the hive. I think I'm just gonna put them right here. Gonna put them right in. Take these cover boards off, dump them right in. And then we'll slide this over into place. So that's what we'll do next. So we're just gonna get this, we're actually gonna remove this completely from the bee yard. The bees are used to coming back right here. So we'll just shake them out, slide this entrance over directly in line with the entrance of the swarm trap. So we'll take it out of their way. Now they don't even see it. And let's move this into position. Okay. There goes a lot of them. There goes the rest of them. They'll calm down in a minute. Let's cover them up. They'll see the entrance here. Nice. Listen to them hum. All right. We're gonna cover them up, put the lid on them. Get these couple of stray bees off the lid so we can put our top cover on. Ooh, that's bright. All right, now we just make a few notes. So we transferred them over. Transferred to 14 frame hive. They were able to generate that much comb and store honey and raise brood. So the numbers of bees are gonna quickly increase um, exponentially. So we'll keep our notes inside. I gotta get a little plastic sleeve, but I'm just gonna keep them in there for now. Ooh, boy, that's, that's a bright sun. Now what I did in the front, I'm gonna show you. So I, I've got one entrance open and one entrance closed. And I don't have an entrance gate or disc. So what I did was I just used some unscented Swiffer wipes and I put one on the far right. So there's only two entrances on this particular hive. Now they'll figure this out. It'll take them maybe an hour to get down, but they'll figure it out and they'll just keep on going and keep on building. Well, that was our beekeeping safari adventure for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with some friends. And if you really like the content, by all means subscribe. It really does help out the channel a lot. I had a total blast today, friends, and uh, I hope that you're having a great 2021 beekeeping season so far, and I'm sure the best is yet to come. So until next time, enjoy beekeeping. We'll see you at the next video.